All right, this is Tony with Backwoods Biker Outdoor Tactics, Tips, and Techniques. Received a few emails uh, sometime back asking me about the Silver Fire bush stove. Uh, we had never seen it here in our shop, so I reached out to Todd Alby, the owner of Silver Fire. Interesting guy, uh, great backstory on him. Uh, my main thing about him that really attracted me, he's a frogman, he's an ex frogman, and uh, those guys are thinkers. Obviously, when you look at this particular bush stove, you can tell that a thinker was involved in here, and it says military influence all up and down the spectrum of this. The Silver Fire Scout system, which this is right here, includes pot with a bale, lockdown system. It has the fire chamber here that you put your fuel in. You've got your gas or fire system down on the bottom. These holes punched in this uh, stainless steel is, is perfect for circulating air. I took this system out into the bush with me uh, for a couple uh, days and nights, and I can tell you that when the fire is rolling in here, it will boil water, this whole thing. It will boil this whole thing full of water in about two and a half minutes. That's pretty quick, you know, but you've got to have it full to, to do that. Now, let's talk about this. The stainless steel that this is made out of is three or four stainless. His design came from an inspiration that he saw in China. They've got these stoves all over China in some way, shape, or form. And what he did was he re reversed engineered it, made a lot of improvements, so many things that I can't even tell you in this little short video here. But as you can see, it really does the job. What's cool about this type of stove is that you can burn just about any biofuel in it very very efficiently. Uh, the key is it should be dry. It doesn't matter if you're using uh, small wood. It doesn't matter if you're using pellets. You could even burn dung in here as long as it's dry. You could burn peanut shells in this. I mean just anything that is dry that will burn will really make this thing work. Now <clears throat> what I liked about this, what attracted me, was the size of it and the weight of it. Now it's not ultra light, but it's not heavy either. It only weighs a few ounces. So what's attractive to me is how this thing packs down. By the way, I, I want to tell you this before I show you that, is it comes with a ferrocium rod with magnesium attached to it and a striker and it, it's very, very good. works well. And there is a fold down spoon and fork. When I say fold down, you know, I mean, there it is. And it's very, very sturdy. You know, I've used them. Uh, and it's perfect. It comes right inside the kit. Now, here's here's what the, the cool thing is. Now, I'm going to get some of these out of the shop maybe here. Uh, but when you go to put this to, back together, here, here it is, all right? All goes in here. And this goes right in here. This goes in here. This goes in here. This goes in here as well. Look at this. All of this goes right down inside of here. As long as you get that handle, the, the bell right, get this right, boom. There you have it. Your Silver Fire Scout bush. Stuff.